Hi everyone and welcome to Sacred Geometry Language of the Universe. My name is Seth and I'm here to share Sacred Geometry with the whole world. Thank you very much for your subscriptions, for your likes, for your comments. It means a lot to me and if you are new to this channel and you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe because it encourages me to make more videos for everyone. Today I want to talk about a subject that many of you have requested. It's surrounded by a lot of mystery and even Nikola Tesla himself was obsessed with it and that is three specific numbers number three number six and number nine Nikola Tesla a Serbian American engineer and physicist made several breakthroughs in the production transmission and application of electric power he invented the first alternating current AC motor and developed AC generation and transmission technology he also created the Tesla coil which is still used in radio technology up to date. Nikola Tesla obtained around 300 patents worldwide for his inventions. He also claimed that he never slept more than two hours per day. Tesla's dream was to distribute free electricity to the world. This was a complex concept, but Tesla had the blueprints for this ambitious project. Unfortunately, he didn't get any support from his peers in the scientific community or even from the investors that pulled back their funds. Nikola Tesla even proposed in 1896 that contact with alien beings was possible when discussing the potential of using his electric transmission system. He claimed that he has received a repetitive radio signal that could come from the planet Mars. Towards the end of his life, Nikola Tesla wasn't given much acknowledgement from the scientific community. Some even thought that he became delusional because he was talking about aliens and extraterrestrials. In later life, he would spend much of his time feeding pigeons in New York City, claiming that he can mystically communicate with them. Tesla also claimed mysterious things such as, and this is quote unquote, he said the following, I could hear the ticking of a watch with three rooms between me and the timepiece. A fly alighting on a table in the room would cause a dull thud in my ear. A carriage passing at a distance of few miles fairly shook my whole body. He even went on claiming that he had a vision of his alternating current motor in the air before his eyes and he was certain before even building it that it would work. The strange life of Nikola Tesla and his unusual claims led often people to think that he's a hoax or a lunatic fringe. One biography even stated that he was not a man from Earth. It went on saying that a child was born on board of a spaceship and he was brought to Earth from the planet Venus in July 1856. Two days after his death, the FBI ordered the alien property custodian to seize Tesla's belongings. And guess who saves his belongings? It was John G. Trump, who's the paternal uncle of former US President Donald Trump. He was a professor at MIT and a well-known electrical engineer serving as a technical aide to the National Defense Research Committee. He was called to analyze Tesla's studies and they were in his custody. A few years later, John Trump was noted for developing rotational radiation therapy. He also developed one of the first million volt X-ray generators. So. I will let you connect the dots here. There's clearly a lot of mystery surrounding Nikola Tesla. Nevertheless, his obsession with the number 369 was very obvious. For example, he would walk around the block three times before entering the building. Or he would choose hotel room numbers divisible by three. If the hotel room number cannot be divided by three, he would not pick the room. He would also wash his dishes with 18 napkins. Everything he did, he would try to do it in sets of three. He even went on saying 
one of his famous quotes, if you knew the magnificence of three, six, and nine, you would have a key to the universe. Now that's very interesting. How can three numbers unlock our understanding of the universe? To tackle this properly, I'm going to introduce Vortex Mathematics created by a scientist named Marco Rodin. In Vortex Math, or the science of Taurus Anatomy, we're going to divide numbers in two sets, or two groups. The first group, we have following numbers, which is 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8. In this group, if we add, multiply any numbers from 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8 with each other, we will always get 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, or 8. As you probably may have already noticed, the group number 2 has 3, 6, and 9. And these numbers, these three numbers, you don't see them in group 1, they never appear. No matter how many times you try to add, multiply or these numbers, they never equal to 3, 6, or 9. And trust me, I tried this myself so many times. So group number 2 with 3, 6, and 9 has the same pattern as the first group. If you add, multiply any of these numbers with each other, the results will always be equal to, again, 3, 6, or 9. And the numbers from group 1, which are 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, and 8, they never show up in this second group. And the scientist Marco Rodin believes that these numbers represent a vector from the third to the fourth dimension, which he calls a flux field. This diagram is the representation of these two groups of numbers. One side is 1, 2, 4. The other side is 8, 7, and 5. This diagram represents how electricity works. It is a stream between two polar sides, like a swinging pendulum, between 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, 2, to the infinity. And if you actually imagine the movement, you can see that it's very similar to the symbol of the infinity. However, these two sides are governed by 3 and 6. 3 governs 1, 2, and 4 and 6 governs 8, 7, and 5. And if you look at the pattern closely, you can see that 1 plus 2 equals 3, and 4 plus 8 equals 3 as well, and 7 plus 5 equals 3. So the numbers on this one side, they all equal to 3. Now let's move on to 6, the numbers on the other side of the number 6. If we add 2 plus 4, that's 6. And if we add 8 plus 7, that also equals to 6. And if we add 5 plus 1, that also equals to 6. So that even proves that these numbers, these two sides, are governed by number 3 and number 6. But something which is even more interesting is that these two sides, 3 and 6, are also governed by number 9, which is the number of completion, which is the number that governs everything. As you can see in the same diagram, 1 plus 8 equals to 9, and then 7 plus 2 equals to 9, and these are numbers from both 3 and 6 side. Then 5 plus 4 at the bottom equals to 9, and then finally the other governing numbers, 3 plus 6 also equals to 9. So 9 is kind of like the big boss, it's the governing number, it's the president. After all, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 equals to 9. <laughs> Marco Rodin states, as I mentioned before, that 3, 6 and 9 represents the fourth dimension. Regardless if it represents the fourth dimension or something else that we still don't know yet, it's clear that this set of numbers have some mystery around it. So let's analyze it even deeper. Nikola Tesla has another famous quote that states, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And here again, it's 
a set of three. Does that mean that each of the number 369 corresponds to energy, frequency, and vibration accordingly? But this is the area where bridging science and esoteric knowledge can help us get some answers. Nikola Tesla, in another of his famous quotes, said, The day science begins to study the non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. This is all very interesting, but how does this relate to sacred geometry? Where do we find 3, 6, and 9 in sacred geometry? The sacred geometry shapes that represent number 3 are the triangle or the tetrahedron because we have three edges on each side. Number six, however, is represented by the hexagram, which has two tetrahedrons, one pointing upwards, one pointing downwards, that represents the male energy upwards, the female energy downwards, which is perfect balance and harmony. And you can see the hexagram inside of Metatron's cube. So that's number six. Number nine is also represented by this beautiful shape here. Now, let me remind you that in numerology, number three represents mastery and the beginning of creation, the beginning of something amazing and new. And number six represents love, balance, and harmony. Number 9 in numerology represents completion, the end of a cycle. To get to number 6, which is love, balance, and harmony, you have to first accomplish number 3, which is mastery. So at first you have to become the master, and then you can reach love, balance, and harmony, which is necessary for existence. And after you master this balance and this harmony, you can close the cycle by reaching number nine. You become a master, you become a creator. That means that three, six, and nine are divine numbers. They are high dimensional numbers. Maybe if we can start using them more, maybe if we meditate on them, maybe Tesla, after all, did everything in sets of three because he knew the secret of these numbers. Maybe following the pattern of three, six and nine will always lead to something greater in our life.